everyone, so I know it's been a while since I filmed the video, um, I've just been really busy so please forgive me, but like I said, I'm not super professional at this so please forgive me for my hand gestures or if I'm looking astray or something. Um, but I've come here today to basically, with these few ideas to help you, for those of you who want to move here and stay in Taiwan for some time, what things you should buy when you first are moving into your first apartment. Now absolutely the first thing I would say is to ask people in your city is whether or not it is very humid. Now I don't mean humid as in you walk out and you feel very sticky, but whether or not their apartment uh, requires a dehumidifier. Reason being is that when I lived with my aunt in her city, she's never used her dehumidifier. She has one, but she's never needed to use it. But when I first moved to my city, Shindu, Within three weeks, all of my clothes during winter time got completely moldy and my curtains got moldy and it was an absolute nightmare to clean everything. I didn't notice it and then when I opened the other side of my closet, everything was just a disaster. So I had to clean, wash everything, my special garments had to be you know, dry cleaned, all of these things. So it's very important to ask um, whether or not you need this appliance. Now this appliance is of course something you want to consider um, if and only you're planning to stay for a long time because they are definitely not very cheap. Um, they run you from 6,000 to over 10,000 NT which is about 200 US dollars and onwards and that all depends on what store you buy from, um, whether or not there's a sale and of course what size you get. Now I would recommend going to a bigger sort of drugstore or whatever you want to call it, um, such as Amart or they say I might and RT Mart, simply because they tend to have more sales and also they have more sizes and everything you can choose from. Now when it comes to the size, you want to consider asking simply the staff member which one you should get. I wouldn't recommend getting the smallest one simply because if you first move into a small apartment and later decide to move to a big apartment, that small appliance is going to be a big hassle. It's going to run your electricity bill most likely a lot higher and also you have to keep dumping out the water. It basically absorbs the moisture and it becomes a, a tub of water that you have to keep dumping out. So for me, living here in Shindu, I have to dump my dehumidifier maybe two times a day and that's quite a hassle. Now I got probably like a medium size and for me, um, I would say the interior of my apartment is maybe five to six ping, okay? And according to this conversion, it's about 177 square feet to 213 square feet or 16.5 to 19.8 square meters. So not a humongous space, so like I said, you want to simply just ask the clerk which one should I get for how many ping I have. Um, if you get the biggest one and you have a very small space, then yes, maybe you might be running your electricity bill up, or if you plan on going to a bigger apartment in the long run, then yes, I would invest in a bigger one. But I would persuade people to not buy the smallest size. Um, also, you can ask them about different brands and which one can save your electricity a lot more. It's always a good idea to ask these things to your clerk. The next thing is, no matter what, if uh, whether or not your city is very humid, I would still buy these anyway, just in case. Um, I buy these dehumidifier tubs, and like I said, just in the stores I mentioned, you could buy these in bulk, okay? And also this one I just showed you is from Daiso, which is like a Japanese, sort of like a dollar, dollar tree or dollar store. Um, everything is $39 NT in this store. Um, but if you go to the bigger drugstores and you buy them in bulk, of course you're going to get more bang for your buck. Um, and they come in different sizes, etc. I put them in every cabinet basically where there's a door to just close and I don't open it that often. So to be sure that all of the moisture is being absorbed, I keep one in every cabinet. And especially the ones for my shoes, 
because even shoes get very moldy from the humidity as well. So I would highly recommend that, especially if you plan on staying for a short term. I would still just buy these because um, one tub is going to cost you only about around a, a dollar or so um, U.S. dollars. Next thing I would say is to get a fan, like a traditional fan, like the one I'm using right here. Um, basically, reason being is they're not very expensive and they're going to save you a lot of money on your electricity bill because sometimes it doesn't get so hot uh, where you actually need to turn on your AC. And electricity in Taiwan definitely can run quite quickly. One degree costs you five NT but it accumulates really quickly, especially when you're using AC. So oftentimes I would just use a fan instead. And even when I am using the AC, I would turn on the fan so that when I set my AC to turn on and off, during the time where it's off, the fan will circulate the cool air a lot longer than not having it on. So you're actually saving a little bit more money when you have the fan turned on um, during the hotter seasons, even when the AC is on. Now I know, of course, these are probably going to run you about 10 US dollars or so. They're not super expensive, probably around 300 or so NT, um, give or take. But uh, I would say unless you want a very fancy looking one, like the very beautiful Dyson ones, then of course those are highly expensive. But if you don't care about the appearance or the space it takes up, just get a typical traditional fan, even though it's not very glamorous. And the next one I would say is to always get an insect racket, which looks like this. Now I know for my animal lovers, and we should not kill the insects in the world, but I'll show you the reason why I highly recommend these insect rackets is simply because if you look right here, these are the bites I got just yesterday. And for some reason, mosquitoes in Taiwan are just absolutely lethal. I don't know why. I think it's maybe the sewers or the pollution, but they're just highly toxic and all of these things. And this is just the beginning stage of the swelling. And when I first moved here, I was bit all over and they would swell to the size of basically baseballs. If I find a picture, I'll, I'll insert it. But just humongous, grotesque looking things. They would feel really hot and hard to the touch and it just felt like a huge infection. And when I went to see the doctor, they couldn't do anything about it. They're just absolutely no fun to to get and also they tend to spread disease and all of these things so I highly recommend getting an insect racket. Now that being said I also highly recommend uh, when you're f searching for an insect racket is to not buy any cheap insect racket that you find. You want to really pay attention to the mesh of the racket because if you get one that's where the inner mesh is too wide then it can't really get all of those really tiny pesky ones. So um, I highly recommend this model I just showed you, quite common model around here, um, but I've switched between three or four different models. I returned all of the other ones because they wouldn't work with the tiny insects, but this one does just fine. And also it's rechargeable um, without using batteries, which is quite nice. You just probably need an extension cord to charge it. Um, but either way, I highly recommend those. I know many foreigners who go back to the countries, they often buy tons of these for their friends because they're so useful. Um, but it's a big staple, I would say, in Taiwan. And like I said, you don't want to end up like me, a full body full of mosquitoes. Not fun. Um, last one, let's see. Also, of course, command hooks. I don't think it's that genius of an idea, but it's a good reminder, simply because the walls here are constructed out of concrete or something like that, um, not wood. So you can't use any putty or anything to fill in the holes. Uh, I'm sure a landlord will be very upset if you decide to nail in anything into the walls. So I use command hooks all the time. Um, I buy them in bulk simply because I, for some reason, this sort of concrete type of paint makes the command hooks fall quite easily so get the strongest one and buy them in bulk especially the stickers because they do tend to fall off 
And the last one I do want to mention is when you are looking for an apartment as well, is to consider some place where it's secure and gated or something. Simply because if you decide to get a scooter, which I'm assuming you're staying for the long run, is that people do tend to scratch up scooters at night simply because they're being really mean or nasty that night or sometimes they even try to steal it or they steal parts off of your scooter so it's best if you can't if you can park it in a secure place where it's not out in the open at night where you can't supervise it or look at it um, is to find a sort of gated or secure community it's also safer for yourself as well for example in mine I have to use a key card to get in so I feel like it's a lot safer for my scooter and myself to be in this type of community that being said I believe those are all of my top five things I would consider buying when you first move into an apartment in Taiwan. Uh, let me know if you want me to fill in film any different type of videos, for example, how I utilize this tiny space um, and how I utilize every single inch of the space, how I store things, organize things, or if you want me to talk about apart apartment hunting or I'm thinking about filming another video which is about scooter safety and also what kind of scooter to get if you are deciding to move here. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions, leave any comments down below. I believe it is bedtime for me simply because I have work early in the morning. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Leave a like if it was helpful to you. Otherwise, everyone have a great day. Bye!